Well, rarely has a big city faced such an important conundrum. The Chicago Bears want a new stadium. The Chicago White Sox want a new stadium. And they're serious. On the line, a lot of jobs and gads of tax revenue and pride. The Bears threatening to leave the city. It appears the Sox want to stay in the city. So the chess match is on. Joining us to break it all down, uh, Justin Lawrence from Crane's Business, a well-sourced City Hall insider. Justin, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me on. I'm in. I'm actually in the city council chamber, so you might see some activity around me. Oh, well, that's where you always are, so we appreciate you joining us, uh, although I'm sure you're working on a deadline story. What's the latest with the Sox uh, search for a new spot? Is this the 78th? That's the location in the South Loop. It would bring them closer to downtown. Is that a legitimate option, you think? It, it certainly is for them. I, they're certainly pursuing it as it's a legitimate option. They are meeting with you know, they've met with uh, the state house leaders, um, state Senate President Don Harmon and House Speaker Chris Welch. They have not met as recently as Friday with Governor J.B. Pritzker yet, but I, I believe they will soon. And and then they're meeting with, you know, business leaders and labor leaders trying to ramp up support for it because eventually they haven't disclosed yet, but eventually they're going to have to talk about how it gets paid for and, uh, you know, if they need any sort of state help for that or even just state legislative action, action for that. Um, yeah, so that's the kind of the next big thing that we're waiting for. But no, they are they're definitely pursuing it. Um, Jerry Reinsdorf and related Midwest Kurt Bailey have been in these meetings kind of ramping up support, um, telling people about the jobs and, uh, you know, all the benefits that will come from it. Uh, so, yeah, this is it's definitely a real possibility. Yeah, and talking with union leaders drumming up support, they're already, you know, getting the mayor on board. And as you talk, if they're talking already with Springfield, um, that's a big indicator. Uh, and good insight there. So let's go to the Bears. They bought the old racetrack in Arlington Heights, tore it down. It seems like a perfect place for an all-everything complex, something they need, domed stadium, et cetera. Uh, but they've not been as welcome there as they thought. Uh, they're now you know, bickering over whether their tax assessment there should be $170 million. That's what the schools there want, more revenue for them, or $50 million. That's what the Bears say it should probably be. Um, so now they seem to be toying around more with staying in Chicago. Um, I mean, they got a few years here, but not really, because, you know, if you're going to build this megaplex, it's going to take a few years. What's going on? Yeah, so uh, my colleague Greg Hines reported on Friday that the Bears are, you know, seriously or, or have their eyes again on the lakefront. They want okay. to in this iteration of of the proposal you know they would tear down soldier field except for the you know the war memorials that that circle around the field um and they would build a new stadium there uh, likely a dome stadium um and this is this is something real they're they're looking at it uh, they're they're talking with city leaders about it and this comes uh, kind of crucially as they're in this tax fight right with the local school districts up in arlington heights they're about 100 million uh dollars in difference on, on how they value their current property, which obviously would affect how much taxes they pay. Um, so, you know, I think I think they are very much looking at the lakefront. If, if they stay in the city, that's what they want. They do have, obviously they've purchased this land in Arlington Heights so that it can't be dismissed as, as they're totally not a viable option for them anymore, right? But I think it's just the, uh, the next part of this dance is that they are trying to find a find a location in the city that also works for them so that then they can kind of decide which which one's the best option for them. Fast, fascinating chess match that being played by both teams. So so here's a crazy question, right? Two franchises, couple billionaire families, but unlike a lot of billionaire owners, most of their money is tied up in their franchises, you know, probably need tax money, TIF money, so on and so forth. Couldn't they tag team this thing, make some type of mega baseball, football, multi-use, year-round, Neverland, um, all-inclusive? Or, you know, we don't see it a lot, but we see a lot like Kansas City Chiefs and the Kansas City Royals basically share the same land. Um, is that something you have even heard of, or are these, these are teams totally working independently? Yeah, I mean, I've heard it from uh, people like yourself and, yeah, and yeah. friends and people who say, come on, why can't we just figure out one location? We put them both there. We build up the entertainment, kind of mix you stuff around it to to satisfy both teams. 
Um, I have not heard it from anybody like, uh, you know, affiliated with the teams or working on these projects. They appear to be working separately. Um, the Bears are focused on the lakefront. Arlington Heights might be the fallback option at this point. And the Sox are pursuing the 78 with kind of the fallback option of uh, renovating guaranteed rate field and extending their lease there. Okay. Um, you know, I will say both of them, uh, we don't know exactly what their financial ask is or how they would pay for these, mm -hmm. but they're both looking at the Illinois Sports Facilities Authority, which was created to um, build guaranteed rate field. And uh, it, it holds the debt on the Soldier Field renovations in the early 2000s. So they're both looking at that as a way to extend a current tax, a 2% hotel tax that pays back, pays down the debt there to, uh, you know, extend that tax, uh, refinance yeah. the bonds, and kind of give them the upfront cash they need. Okay. Uh, thank you for your insight, my friend. Uh, interesting to hear Bears looking now again at the Lakeshore. Uh, thank you, and uh, enjoy what will surely be something at City Hall today. Uh, Justin, our friend from Crane. <laughs> I don't even Ch know what at this point. It'll yeah, be something right. Our friend from Crane, Chicago. We appreciate you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Brad.